I had been paying attention to um, FDA's enforcement actions of drug manufacturing facilities for a while. Um, every so often you'll see something pop up on like a trade publication where it is a warning letter uh, that the FDA has had to issue to a drug manufacturing facility. And these things can sometimes say, you know, some really stunning things like rodents running around, there's bird feces, people in the plant stood shoulder to shoulder to keep an FDA inspector from getting inside, or there's rusty equipment and chipping paint, and that can get into the drugs. Some of these things are, are kind of scary sounding. I think reading the letters, I said, well, couldn't someone get hurt? Hasn't someone gotten hurt? Um, and at, through a mix of, you know, uh, lack of transparency and really the fact that doctors aren't necessarily going to turn to, well, it was a bad drug um, when something bad happens to you because, hey, you're already sick. Um, that that makes it kind of hard to find those people. But I'm a reporter, so I went to look at court records, and um, that's how I found the PharmaTech case. There had been a couple of wrongful death suits um, and some other liability cases. And the PharmaTech case um, was a big recall and a CDC investigation uh, for a tainted stool softener, which is often given in the hospital. It was contaminated with a bug, a bacteria called B. cepatia, which is especially dangerous to cystic fibrosis patients. The FDA finally got to this plant in Florida, PharmaTech, and they discovered that they had a contaminated water system and that the problem dated back to 2015. Um, and that was interesting to me because, of course, as a data reporter, the next thing I do is I look at their inspection record and I found that actually, yes, the problem dated back to 2015, but the FDA was actually there in March of 2016. And when it inspected that time, it gave them really a passing grade. It didn't issue any citations. Um, and the CEO issued a press release, um, basically patting himself on the back for such a good inspection. But meanwhile, they later found that th this was there already. So I thought, you know, why did this happen? Why didn't the FDA see this? Why, why did it take this long for it to, to be discovered? Um, and that led me into a lot more reporting, which we'll, you can read in the story. Um, but also I wanted to ask the question, how often does this happen? So to do that part of the story, we basically had to take two public databases. And we love when databases are public. That's how we get to do what we do. Um, but we had to basically make them talk to each other when they weren't necessarily built to do that. So that required you know, a, a tricky methodology and um, some checks by hand and, and all that. Um, and it turns out it, it happens a lot. So yeah, that's how we found our story.